Hello there, welcome back. My name is Lingam. Thank you for watching this video today. In this new series on Linux, uh, we will start with the first video. It will be to learn how to set up Linux inside Windows. Obviously, to set up Linux inside Windows, we need virtualization. To do virtual virtualization, we need a software for that. And I'm going to start with VirtualBox. So if you're watching this video, you need to download and install VirtualBox. VirtualBox is again a freely available open source software and it is from Oracle so you can uh, install them without any issues. First thing install VirtualBox and then we need to finalize on our uh, OS. The OS that I have chosen is Alma Linux. Alma Linux is a continuation of uh, Red Hat's uh, RHEL uh, Linux. In 2020, Red Hat announced that they will be stopping the support for CentOS 8 and because of that several uh, Linux came into effect, Alma Linux, Rolaki Linux uh, and so different other Linux also came into the market. So we will be choosing Alma Linux uh, from all the comparisons that I did before, I find Alma Linux to be more compatible and more stable. So these are the two things that we need today to set up a Linux inside Windows. And when you are going to choose Alma Linux, do remember that uh, you need to download only the server version. There will be different versions when you go to the ISOs. Start with 9.2. Each of the Linux versions will always have an end of uh, life. So eight, the versions 8 end at 2029. The versions 9 end at 2032. That is specific to Alma Linux. If you go to 9.2, choose any of the servers or any of the mirror repositories closer to you you could see that uh, let me choose multiple there is something called alma linux minimal so this is only 1.7 gb so the minimal will not have any graphical user interface no GUI will be present it is only for setting up a server so choose this minimal and then we can start installation I have already downloaded and installed VirtualBox, so I will directly open VirtualBox and show you the screen how it looks. So this is my VirtualBox manager. I have been using Fedora 38 for quite some time. I have been doing some videos on this. So this is already there and I have downloaded and kept the Alma Linux OS, the ISO file inside my PC. So first and foremost step, this is, a, of course, this is a Windows uh, PC to see that I will open up my folder here. Yeah, there you go. This is Windows 11, and uh, the steps that we are going to do in this video will be same for all Windows, uh, whether it is Windows 10 or Windows 11. It's going to be the same. All you need is uh, you need a software to do your virtualization. First thing, go ahead and create new. So here you need to provide a name for the virtual machine that you are planning to create. I will give a name called Alma. Obviously, it is to show that it is for Alma Linux and the place where your virtual machine will be created. I don't want it to be created in users, so instead I will open up other. I have a folder in, uh, I have a drive itself called virtual machine drive and uh, I've been using it for virtual boxes. So let me open that up and this is the folder where my Alma Linux will be installed. And after I do that, I need to select the ISO. I have a uh, different OS present here. I have Windows, Windows 10, Ubuntu, Mac. I will choose Alma Linux, which I have downloaded now. Alma Linux minimal. Open up. At the moment I choose that, uh, it already have a selector that it is a type of Linux uh, and uh, it is a Red Hat version as well. So the version is Red Hat and it is Linux. I will skip the unattended installation. We don't need to do that. We will do it manually by ourselves. I did multiple next. So next step, first thing I have around uh, 32 GB RAM in my laptop. I will assign, uh, let's say 15 GB or somewhere close to that 15 GB RAM. And um, the processor, I have 12 CPUs. I will assign at least six CPUs. It's totally up to you, but always ensure that you give enough memory so that it will not be lagging and give enough processors so that, uh, again, it will not be lagging. And we need to create a hard disk now. Remember, this Alma Linux, uh, whichever we have downloaded, the minimal, is only 1.7 GB. 
However, Alma Linux with the GUI version, with the graphical user interface version, it will come up to 9 or 9.5 GB. So it's always better we double that. So 20 GB is a reasonable uh, space. Keep it at 20 GB. And this is going to be a virtual hard disk. And I don't need to add anything else. If we need something, we can do that later. And that's it. So we created something called uh, uh, Alma. The name is Alma. And then it is uh, the, op the OIS is also selected. Uh, the ISO file is selected from the location where I have downloaded it. Before we proceed, most important step is you need to provide network connection to it. By default, there will not be any network connection. And uh, okay, you also need to increase the video memory, graphics memory. 128 MB, it's always uh, any PC, whatever we have in today's, uh, today's date, it will always be at least 1 GB or 2 GB of graphics memory we will be having. So 128 MB is not such a big deal. Give 128 MB and go to the network. I'm not finding network here. Network is here, yes. And attached to bridged adapter and the name of my network which I'm using. For to understand which network you are using, go to network connection in your windows, view network connections. And this opens up multiple. I have three ethernets and then I have one Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi is wireless. The Whichever is connected to the internet currently is AC 9560. So this is what I need to select. This is the adapter that I need to select. In case in your PC, if you have internet via like e Ethernet, uh, like let's say like uh, E2400 killer Ethernet or something, whichever is there, you need to select that. Uh, so in my case, I don't have internet via this Ethernet, three Ethernets. I have internet only via the wireless adapter. So I'm choosing wireless adapter. Open up advanced and promiscuous mode allow all and you should ensure that cable connector is selected so these are the basic settings that you need to provide once you provide these settings then internet whichever is available in your windows machine will be shared with the linux as well with the virtual linux with with the virtual machine as well so once these settings are done first step now what we need to do is we need to install our linux so let's go there, start. It opens up a new window. Let me maximize it a bit. It's asking me what I need to do. I need to install Alma Linux 9.2 and I'm entering it. It will take some time at least uh, five to six minutes but before we proceed it will show us a screen where we will be choosing the language keyboard and then we will be choosing uh, the disk partition root password and everything until then i will be recording this video and once we start that i will uh, put it on fast forward mode Okay, there we go. We got the UI here. So I changed the language to English. Initially, it was Arabic since I am located in United Arab Emirates. I just changed the language to English and United States. Let me continue this. So in this step, if you see, there is only one thing pending, which is installation destination. We need to select the installation destination. So inside, uh, when I select the installation destination, if I go down, by default, this uh, ATA VBOX uh, hard disk is selected. In case you could see the tick sign there. In case the tick sign is not present, I just need to select this hard disk. Uh, now you could see that uh, the hard disk is not selected and because of that I am getting an error message in the bottom which says that no disk is selected. So in case you are having this issue, all you need to do is select the hard disk and you will be seeing a tick sign there. 
after the tick sign is selected just press the done button you find the top now it returns me to the previous page when it comes to the previous page i could see that only thing that's left pending is the root password because the root password and root account is disabled just select this root account it now asks for me a root password do remember once you give a root password remove this lock root account and allow root ssh login with password you need to uncheck the lock root account and allow the root to login with the uh, ssh login with the password so you should look something like this once you are done just uh, click uh, done at the top here now we could see that uh, we have set up the installation for the hard disk and then we have also set up the root password so the only thing that's uh, left here now is uh, to start the installation so let me start installation it will now start setting up your uh, alma linux on virtual box so you need to wait for this uh, maybe it will take uh, five minutes or ten minutes but once it is done and that's it uh, your installation will be completed and there we go uh, installation is completed it actually took more uh, time than uh, predicted it took uh, almost uh, 15 plus minutes so just reboot the system now now i'm going to show something in case uh, you are you are moving your mouse right when you are during installation when you are selecting something inside the oracle vm or virtual box uh, and you are not able to move your mouse out it's mainly because your mouse got captured in that case you need to press your control button from your keyboard press your control button and then your mouse will be released we initiated the system reboot and we are uh, still waiting uh, it's taking quite some time so what i will do i will just close this power of the machine and since we know that the installation is already completed I will go ahead and start running the system. You could see that the optical drive is still loaded. We need to close that optical drive. It's same as in uh, Windows. So it's like you have loaded a DVD inside your window, uh, inside your optical drive. We don't need that. So you need to just remove that first. That's the reason why it is first loading from your um, CD. So let me close this. Power off again because instead of opening from the hard disk it is opening from the id so let me open up here go to the storage i will remove the live cd remove disk so now the disk is removed so once the disk is removed which basically in a, in a physical uh, computer it's like removing the cd or uh, the installation media from the computer so it should now start booting from your hard disk there we go we have now uh, completed uh, initializing and it is basically saying that alma linux has started and localhost is asking me to log in i will st start with the root user and the password that i have provided do remember that if you have used a number in your password uh, by default whenever the virtual uh, machine is initiated the number lock will be turned off uh, you need to turn it on again and I'm logging inside my Alma Linux 9.2 and we have successfully logged in. Now let me clear the screen and I will just say who am I? My name is root. I have logged in inside root and I will just uh, go to the root folder and I just list everything and this is working fine. I will log out here. So that's it. That is how we will install Linux server inside VirtualBox in Windows. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you in another video.